thanks for coming back and checking out another video we've got some parcels today and uh, I've opened up a few locks over the weekend so uh, I thought we've got a few opens on the locks so let's have a few opens on the parcels so basically the, today it's a case of two going out and two coming in so uh, I I'm sending them out as fast as I'm receiving them, but over the past fortnight, I must admit, I've had, I've had so many parcels these past t two or three weeks. It's been unbelievable, and I've been blown away by all the stuff that people are making me and sending me, and yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. It really, really is. So we've got two parcels here. Uh, the first one is from Jason, uh, from Jason uh, Jarvis. And uh, he's also known as XB Mods on uh, YouTube and, and uh, some of the forums. And uh, I, I wasn't expecting anything. I'm not sure. Oh, I hope I didn't flash my address in. Uh, for a minute, then I thought he sent me a stick of fucking dynamite. But uh, no, I, I kind of got an idea of. Um, of what he sent me because he did uh, he did let me in on it when I messaged him about the parcel because I wasn't expecting it uh, oh that's going to be the H for the handle and a T for the tip so it looks like there's a couple of uh, little bits in here so let's have a look and he always says oh it's nothing special let me try and zoom in a little bit So I was like, oh, it's nothing special, it's like, uh, you know, but I know him, and uh, yeah, he puts a lot of effort and a lot of pride into his, uh, into his picks. is this wow that's a proper nice tension tool man wow that is proper tidy yes mate really really nice that's pucker mate honestly really really good I wasn't expecting that tension tool wicked man I was thinking that's quite short for a, for a pick, and uh, I think I think there is a pick in this one. And he said it was just um, a little something to uh, to say congratulations on the new baby and everything. So let's get that in there now. I'm still feeling under the weather, which is why I think I didn't open these earlier. I just weren't um I just weren't feeling in the mood for doing anything really. Oh look a little mini pick. Look at that bad boy. Look at that. And he says it's nothing special. Look at the fucking handle on it man. Look at it. That is stunning. I don't know how I'm gonna use it. But I'm gonna have a crack. Yes mate. Really, really tidy. That is fucking smooth as anything. So if I can get the light on that a bit better. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the, the, the camera ain't doing this justice, I swear. That is smooth as, as glass, literally. It even looks like fucking glass. With the tension tool as well. little mini pick yeah and I have only got tiny hands myself and uh, yeah look at that 
Thank you so much, Jace. I really, really do appreciate that, mate. That is unbelievable. And that is a cracking little mini pick and tension tool there. And uh, I'm just gonna put the, I'll, I'll put them to one side for, for one minute, just while I open up the second parcel. And then, uh, and then we'll get them all back into the shop. Now this one's come from John Eggington and um, he did tell me he was sending me something and it completely went out of my head. So when this turned up, I was uh, I, I was unsure who that actually sent it. And looking here again, we've got two more. Let me zoom out a bit again for this one. There's a few lots in there as well. I'll keep that in envelopes. Ah, oh, so we've got a, that's a GG. Oh, it's a challenge lock. Live and let die. Oh, by John Eggington. So he sent me another one of his uh, challenge locks. So I'll keep that, I'll put that in a bag. Just so I don't lose the key. Got an Asa. Lovely mortise rim cylinder. Absolutely beautiful. And a lot of keys as well. And that works as smooth as mustard. And I'm just gonna quickly see if that's got the same. No, it's not got the same same keyway as the Euro that I've got. Got a few asses, but no, not that one either. That is a pity. I've right? keyed up a few more with those um, spare keys. Yeah. Hey, wicked, wicked, John. That is brilliant, mate. And I, well, I don't know what we've got in here. It's, I think. I think he said one pick might be to pick the challenge lock. But I've got a feeling that might be the 14 foul. And I was not expecting anything else. And oh mate, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning as well. Let's get that zoomed in a bit. Let's see if we can get some oh for That is absolutely beautiful as well. And that is a smooth as glass as well. Full tang. Fits lovely in the hand. And this is the third custom pick that I've received from John Eggington. And I don't know what I do to deserve all these parcels, but I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm gonna, I'll take some proper nice pictures uh, in decent light with a good background. And hopefully I'll put them onto the end of the, uh, onto the video so you can get a better look. But that is absolutely lovely, mate. Really, really is. And I will get the details off you so I can put that in the description for you and Jason's. I'll, uh, I'll stick them on this. I'll stick them on this tissue. I think this 14 foul I think this is for the challenge lock well flipping out look at that bad boy and if I if I use this which I'm going to be a bit nervous about. Then, uh, yeah, this will be the thinnest pick I've ever picked a lock with, if I use it. 
but that is so flexible. And I've got one. I've got one fifteen thousand pick uh, Peterson. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't really use the real, real thin ones much, but I will have a little crack with this, and that's nice in the hand still. Yeah. I won't put a handle on it for you, John. <laughs> My skills ain't like yours or Jason's. Definitely not. Definitely not. Unless you want an old lollipop on it. But no, that is absolutely lovely. Thank you so much to the pair of you. It's uh, totally unexpected. I weren't, um, I weren't expecting anything uh, like this in these parcels. And I just want to see... The camera does not do them justice at all. They really, really don't. But hopefully when I get some pictures, you'll be able to get some idea of just how lovely they actually are. And this has got a lovely finish. I don't know, I don't know what material this is. But looking at it from a distance, it looks a bit like carbon fibre, but I know it's not. But it does look a bit, little bit like that. And I can't wait to have a little go with this little midget. Yes, mate. And that'll fit nice in the little, um, I'm not sure if you can see my pick roll. That's my pick roll here. So all my custom picks and whatnot are in there. And that'll fit in the little bit down below with my tension tools. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tidy up in there. But yeah. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll uh, I'll be back opening something with these uh, pretty soon.